Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Inspiration of just uh, the Black Lives Matter movement and uh, the falling of George Floyd, falling to police brutality. It's really to represent all the people that have fallen victim to police brutality. And to show that it can be like a positive reinforcement. That's the purpose of having visual representation. People have people are angry, people are mad, you know what I'm saying? And, and there's a difference between protesting and looting and destroying property. So the best thing to do for it is be like, this is one this is one way to do it as a as a peaceful protest. Instead of vandalizing, actually getting permission to do memorials for people that have fallen to a politically unjust act based upon the law. That's what this is for. It's a memorial, it's a it's a message, a, me a positive message that's being sent. That we can't do positive things related to issues of uh, destruction or issues facing people being faced uh, or charged unjustly or handled unjustly. So now it's like a community-based project right now. So you have people from all over the community, River West and Run Bay, come over and help paint. So that's what's going on right now. I've been doing art since I was like 15 years old. I've worked with nonprofit youth organizations. I help facilitate different art projects and be a part of big art projects and mural programs. I do, I do mixed media and visual arts, but it's the purpose of like artists to spread a message. You know what I'm saying? Let it be a positive message, positive reinforcement. You know, it's a lot of, a lot of negative stuff happening in the world right now. So the best, the best thing to do about that is uh, just let this be something that, that could possibly help pass the good message around. Stay positive, stay healthy, stay vigilant, keep fighting.